There are over 100,000 lakes in the United States, but how deep are the deepest ones? Consider the Statue of Liberty. From the ground to the top of the flame, it stands at 305 feet tall, but there are still 72 lakes in the U.S. that exceed this height and depth. The tallest monument in the United States, the Gateway Arch, stands at 630 feet tall, and it could be completely submerged in 14 of them. Even the 1,454-foot Empire State Building could fit underwater in three of those lakes, four if you don't include the antenna. One of those is right behind me, Lake Tahoe. Surprisingly, despite reaching a staggering depth of 1,645 feet, Lake Tahoe is only the second deepest lake in the US. But where's the deepest lake? And why are they so deep? Let's investigate. First, it's important to note that lake depth is measured in two different ways, by average depth and by maximum depth. For this video, we'll be looking at the maximum depth. And since there are only four lakes deeper than the height of the Empire State Building, we'll start with those, the shallowest of which is Lake Superior. But it's far from being shallow. Lake Superior plunges to a maximum depth of 1,333 feet, making it the deepest of the five Great Lakes. It's also incredibly large, holding roughly 10% of the Earth's surface freshwater. Lake Superior is the world's largest freshwater lake by surface area. To put its size into perspective, there are 50 countries and 10 US states with surface areas smaller than Lake Superior. But this video is about depth. So just how deep is 1,333 feet? Consider this, there are only 10 buildings in the entire United States tall enough to breach the surface if their bases were at the bottom of Lake Superior. And that number drops to 8 if you don't count antennas. But what created a lake this deep? In this case, it's the result of two main factors, with the first being the Mid-Continental Rift. About 1.1 billion years ago, the continental crust beneath what is now North America began to split apart, creating a rift. Normally, rifts like this lead to the formation of large oceans. However, in this case, the rift failed, which left behind a basin where the lake now sits. The second significant factor in the lake's creation is the role of glaciers. Over time, these massive sheets of ice moved across the landscape, slowly carving out the surrounding land. When the climate warmed and the glaciers melted, they filled the low-lying areas, contributing to the formation and depth of Lake Superior. And thanks to all that, Lake Superior ranks as the fourth deepest lake in the U.S. The third deepest lake? Washington State's Lake Chelan. Lake Superior actually holds much more water than Lake Chelan, 620 times more to be precise. But what Lake Chelan lacks in volume, it makes up for in steepness. Reaching depths of 1,486 feet, Lake Chelan is 153 feet deeper than Lake Superior. This means all but four of the 10 skyscrapers taller than Lake Superior could fit underwater in Lake Chelan, and two of them would only breach the surface because of their antennas. And the lake's not just deep, it's also crystal clear, with visibility in some spots reaching up to 50 feet deep. This combined with its incredibly steep edges creates an eerie sensation of almost being able to see the ledge where the lake plunges to its deepest points. And those points are deep. Despite being nestled in the middle of a mountain range, Lake Chelan's deepest point is actually 388 feet below sea level. But what caused the lake's depth? Similar to Lake Superior, Lake Chelan was carved out by multiple periods of glaciation. Once the glaciers melted, they filled the lake. Glaciers are responsible for many of the deep lakes in the U.S., including the country's second deepest lake, Lake Tahoe. Lake Tahoe measures in at 1,645 feet deep, meaning all but two skyscrapers in the U.S. could fit underwater in the lake. One of them only breaches the surface thanks to, you guessed it, an antenna. Quick side note, because this graphic might be a little confusing, there's a council that decides what counts towards a building's height. For One World Trade Center, they determined the tip is considered a spire and not an antenna. Now, onto what created Lake Tahoe. Similar to Lake Chelan, Lake Tahoe was dug out by glaciers, but it also had a little help from tectonic activity. The Lake Tahoe Basin was formed when mountains rose on both sides. Eventually, lava flow from Mount Pluto created a natural dam, and the rivers in the area filled the basin. During the Ice Age, massive glaciers carved out and deepened the basin. When the glaciers melted, they filled the basin with more water, forming the stunningly clear and deep Lake Tahoe that we see today. Another unique thing about Lake Tahoe is the fact that the California-Nevada border goes directly through the lake, but both sides are incredibly deep. Lake Tahoe is actually the 17th deepest lake in the entire world, and with an average depth of 1,000 feet, it ranks 6 in the world in mean depth. And despite records like that, Lake Tahoe is only the second deepest lake in the United States. The first 
Oregon's Crater Lake. Officially recognized as a national park, Crater Lake reaches depths of 1,949 feet deep, nearly 300 feet deeper than Lake Tahoe. To put its depth into perspective, every skyscraper we've used for measurements could fit underwater in Crater Lake, and that's including the antennas. To take it one step farther, there are only five skyscrapers in the entire world taller than Crater Lake is deep. Even the world's three tallest roller coasters could fit stat underwater in Crater Lake. Add the under construction soon to be record-breaking Falcon's flight, and the four stack roller coasters would still be underwater. But what makes the lake so deep? It's the remnants of a collapsed volcano. Around 77,000 years ago, Mount Mazama erupted and collapsed, leaving behind a massive caldera. Over time, a lake was created when the caldera was filled with large amounts of rain and melting snow. And trust me, that area gets a lot of snowfall. Crater Lake is the snowiest place in the US, with annual snowfall totals frequently reaching 450 inches. When I visited in mid-June, most of the park was closed due to multiple feet of snow still on the ground. So as you can imagine, it was no problem for melting snow to fill the caldera. And if you're wondering why the lake doesn't continue to fill, it's because there is a porous layer of rock along the north shore that allows water to flow out. The amount of water entering the lake each year is roughly equal to the amount that exits, keeping Crater Lake's depth nearly identical year after year. But despite being the deepest lake in the US, Crater Lake barely cracks the top 10 for the world's deepest lakes. The deepest lake on Earth is Russia's Lake Baikal. Located in Siberia, it reaches depths of 5,387 feet deep. That's over one mile and nearly four times deeper than Crater Lake. However, as far as the United States goes, Crater Lake is likely to remain the deepest lake for the foreseeable future. And the ironically named Deep Lake, which is only 17 feet deep, probably won't be the one to surpass it. Thanks for watching.